Hello everyone, Vincent Thiel from HDTV Test here. I'm here with Mr. Marek Maciejewski, who is the Director of Product Development at TCL Europe. Would you like to introduce our viewers to the two TVs behind you? Uh, so uh, behind me you see our two uh, latest uh, TVs. Uh, the one is uh, C93, uh, which uh, we introduced uh, this year. This product uh, will be available in uh, sizes of 65 and 75 inch. And uh, on this side you see C83. This one will be available in sizes of 55, 65 and 75 inch. Both TV sets are based on mini LED technology. Uh, in C83 uh, we have dimming zones starting from 240 through 288 up to 360 and on uh, this one we have much more LEDs, we have a slimmer design and uh, we have also much more zones. We have 1080 zones in 65 inch and uh, we have uh, 1920 in 75 inch. One of the key strengths of mini LED technology is the peak brightness that it is able to achieve. Would you like to explain how bright these TVs can get? On this side, uh, C83 is 1200 nits in D65 and above 1500 nits in 11000 or above when you go, for example, for standard or dynamic way. And on this side, uh, we have 2,200 nits peak in D65 and 2,600 in D11. In terms of HDMI 2.1 support, what do these TVs have? Uh, in uh, these two TV sets, uh, we have four HDMI 2.1 ports. Uh, two ports are 48 uh, gig and two ports are 80 uh, gig. Uh, we support uh, up to 144 uh, UHD. We also support uh, UHD 120 uh, HDR. Uh, so all what you can get today either from PCs or from game consoles, uh, you can fit to these TVs. The 144Hz is mainly for gaming. And on the gaming side, I know some manufacturers have had difficulties trying to integrate local dimming with VRR. They switch off local dimming altogether with VRR and if you turn off local dimming, the contrast just goes down massively, especially in HDR. Are you able to combine local dimming and VRR on the C83 and C93 while maintaining quite low input lag? So on one side, uh, the change uh, which we implemented uh, this year is uh, high-speed driving. Uh, it's also called by marketing direct driving. But the way how it works on this famous uh, XXY or XXX parade, uh, when you have uh, uh, moving objects and on this product you don't see motion trail and on some other products uh, you see motion trail. Then in terms of input lag, of course, the best you will achieve when you switch off local dimming. But then you lose uh, two, I think, or three milliseconds uh, when you uh, add uh, local dimming low or even local dimming high. So on this one, we work uh, very hard uh, to make it happen and uh, then uh, uh, to uh, overcome uh, all these uh, issues uh, with uh, input lag and VRR. Last year, we spoke about the TCLC825 and you mentioned that there's a possibility of doing 4K 120Hz Dolby Vision on that set. What about on the C83 and also the C93? Well, I have to correct uh, here. So then we were uh, uh, discussing uh, with Dolby and then uh, also with MTK chipset supplier. Uh, but finally, uh, C82 remain as uh, UHD60 uh, because uh, this 120 functionality uh, was not enabled by Dolby, was just uh, provided only to one company. And uh, then uh, we uh, continue this uh, the same uh, in this year products because we believe that uh, uh, HDR120 is uh, can deliver very good results uh, and then you can you have full control over it you are not just uh, limited to uh, what uh, Dolby is uh, telling you to do uh, so that's why we keep a Dolby UHD 60 UHD uh, HDMI sorry and then if you want to go uh, for uh, 120 or even above uh, you have uh, HDR 10 under full control now one thing I noticed this year is that even Samsung has gone with QD OLED. They are offering a self-emissive technology. 
And I think you are one of the brands still not to have an OLED in your TV lineup. Do you plan to do something about it? Uh, on our side, uh, we believe that mini LED technology is uh, the solution which is uh, the best solution for your living room. You know, the major issue of uh, light emissive technologies is average uh, brightness. Uh, today, these products can deliver 200, maybe 200 something nits, which is great when you watch in the basement, but when you go to your living room, the picture is slightly different because uh, today we have summer, we have bright living rooms and we need uh, more than 500 nits. Uh, to be able, for example, to watch uh, Netflix uh, Dolby Vision and then uh, to get uh, very nice uh, results. Then uh, we see that uh, over last year's uh, Mini LED improved significantly. Uh, when you visited us for extend test, uh, we had the first product, which dynamic range was, I think, around 60 stops. And uh, then it was uh, uh, limited on uh, driving uh, steps. We had six bits uh, driving uh, and then we had, uh, I think, 3000 to one panel. We thought uh, it, is, uh, it was fantastic product then. But today we have completely different uh, story. We have uh, 12 bit uh, light driving. We have 7000 to one uh, static contrast. We have a very wide viewing angle. This is another area which significantly improved. We have also anti-reflection coating. So when we all put this uh, together, we believe that uh, mini LED technology is uh, uh, the great uh, solution. And of course, uh, on another side, uh, we invest uh, into live emissive uh, screens and then we uh, started to build the factor uh, in China, which uh, will produce RGB OLED screens. But this is just, uh, it will come in the future. Because you know that the key issue here is to overcome this average brightness and then to deliver enough of energy uh, to create light by the screen. You mentioned a contrast ratio of 7000 to 1. I assume that you are always going to use a VA type LCD panel on your C83 and C93. There's no mix and match, unlike some other manufacturers. Generally, you know, in TCL, we produce VA panels uh, for TVs uh, and then uh, there is currently no single TV set we sell in Europe with uh, IPS panels, so the panel with, uh, which is unable to deliver contrast and uh, dynamic range. Uh, we are focused on VA and you see that uh, over years uh, we significantly improve uh, VA technology. So it's not just VA you might remember from the past. Traditionally, I always think of VA as very high contrast for an LCD, but you know the viewing angles are very narrow. And now you're saying that you have a wider viewing angle and you have a greater anti-reflection filter as well. Now on some other models from rival manufacturers, by doing this, you actually lower the contrast and you may create some sort of rainbow reflection effect. Will this be a problem on the TCL C83 and C93? You will see from pixel close-up that the uh, pixel is very clearly visible, so the coating we use for anti-reflection is not impacting uh, at all resolution. Then uh, all comes from uh, significant improvement in the way how the panel is uh, done, because uh, what uh, I think uh, you talk about is uh, the story of uh, 19 to 20, uh, when still VA was not uh, in a very good uh, shape to compete in terms of viewing angle. Uh, but then uh, uh, several things uh, have been done. And then even if you compare last year, like for example, C82 versus C83, in terms of uh, viewing angle, there is no gamut shift uh, at all. So you will be able really to assess it uh, on your side. Uh, that's why I say that uh, we should not uh, just say that uh, there is only one technology able to deliver contrast. Uh, we have uh, products uh, from other companies uh, here around. And then we uh, also uh, benchmark uh, to these products and believe that uh, Mini LED together with VA panel uh, has great future. From previous years, the UK and the European models have always had some slight differences in terms of specifications. Can UK potential buyers expect this sort of specifications in our country? Uh, 
Yes, so in the past uh, we were more focused on uh, terrestrial TV, but uh, we understood in UK especially that uh, people who buy more expensive TVs, usually they use set-top boxes. Uh, they either use uh, Sky or BT and uh, we decided that uh, uh, from this year all step-up premium products uh, will have the same specification. It means that uh, only entry UHD products will come with uh, Freeview Play to UK, but uh, uh, C73, C83, C93 will have exactly the same specification and uh, Google TV uh, interface. That's very reassuring to hear. Now, what is the pricing and availability for the C83 and also the C93? As I said, this C83 will be available in three sizes. So, for example, uh, 65 uh, uh, will be available uh, with uh, 1499 euro. I will send you separately prices for Europe and for UK, and you will be able to show them. Two TV sets, I believe, uh, 65 inch uh, of both uh, uh, will be on the way to you. So, uh, I think uh, Junior will have them. Will be able to say uh, first uh, few words and. Sure, uh, see you at uh, IFA. Okay, thank you, Mare. Bye. Goodbye.